EA dropped another Icon SBC on us. There is now a Prime Icon Vidic available for 30 days, and he's not overly expensive, but he doesn't look too cheap either. We'll talk about his price later on in the video, but yeah, Vidic now available. Let's try him out and let's see what this guy has to offer. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. So Vidic via SBC is costing 430 on PlayStation, 480 on Xbox, and to buy him on the market, he's 410 on PlayStation and 490 on Xbox. So that's a little bit weird to be honest, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, what does this card have to offer? So two star, three star, obviously doesn't matter too much with a CB. A medium high work rate, stands at six foot three, which is great. Couple of traits as well. And there's his career stats if you are interested. Um, but in terms of in-game stats, as you'd expect from a Vidic card, ridiculously good physicals and very, very premium defensive stats. So uh, yeah, them physicals look great. 92 for strength and aggression, that's awesome. The fact that he's uh, got 93 jumping as well and he's six foot three should mean that aerially he's very, very dominant. Defensively, really good defensive awareness and stand tackling of, bo of both 94. And even in the dribbling department, the 51 dribbling, that sucks. We don't need to talk about that too much, but he does have a nice reaction start of 85 and good composure of 87. Passing wise, Short pass and long passing are all right. I feel like in this year's game, we're getting some very good passes of the ball in terms of centre-backs. So, yeah, they're not looking like anything too amazing. And then finally, the pace of 78. It's not bad in any other FIFA. It'd actually be quite good. But this year, we've got so many, like, 80-plus pace uh, centre-backs that uh, 78 isn't all that impressive anymore. Isn't that mad, by the way? Like, a few years ago in FIFA, like, just having one centre-back over 80 pace was insane. But now we've got so many, and if a centre back doesn't have more than 80 pace, their their value is just degraded so much. So uh, yeah, kind of mad how uh, that has changed. Anyway, this is his card. You've seen the team we're using him in. Let me show you what happened when I used him. Before that, though, we probably should discuss some chem styles. With a basic, he's a 93 rated CB. But let's be honest, when you're talking about centre backs, you're normally looking at these two chem styles. An anchor obviously makes him a 95 centre back. But to be honest, I still feel like the better chem style for him is shadow because his physicals are already absolutely nuts and you'll be more, you'd benefit more from giving him better pace and obviously with Shadow, he actually does get 88 pace. Now, normally when you're doing defenders, Anchor Shadow, it's normally between them two, but to be honest, Catalyst really isn't a bad option for this guy, especially if you like to play out the back because his passing stats aren't the best, like I've already said. You still get the pace boost and like I've touched on numerous times, his defending and physicals are already amazing. So, to be honest, I think the chem style choice for the, this guy is Catalyst or Shadow, but obviously Shadow is probably the most beneficial one overall. Like, look at them defensive stats. You literally can't get better. Next outing and what weird teams we are coming up against tonight. This is champs. I've got no control of the opposition. Like, we are coming up against some really odd teams tonight. Here's Vidic on the edge of the box. Oh, I mean, I tried to turn the man, but the guy just wouldn't put his foot on the ball. Sterling out wide, but no match for Vidic, who nabs the ball with ease. Easy. Easy. Good base positioning. Well, we get to half time and we have three goals to the good. I sense a rage quick could be coming. Interesting chance as Ziyech comes through. Not the quickest of players and we should be able to get to him quickly. Vidic, very aggressive in typical Vidic fashion, wins the ball. Nice. Oh, I mean, it was nice and then he got floored by Son. Balls through. Vidic cleans up nicely. Covers well at the back. Oh, that was, I don't know how he actually got the shot away there. It was a very tame shot due to the pressure from White, but Vidic makes the block nonetheless. Nice, Vidic. Good recovery. Pass there wasn't the best, but get back at Son, who's offside. You know what's really annoying? To lose the clean sheet in the last minute. Another decent outing from Vidic as well. Like I say, just really, really gutting to uh, have lost the clean sheet in the final minute. Uh, we actually had a lot of defending to do in that game, and Nick Pope's rating pretty much sums it up. He made plenty of stops. Game number one then, and it's just a standard Bundesliga team, so what like feeling confident about this one, and I will look stupid now if we lose it. It's going to be Vidic of all people down the wing. Can he whip in a good ball? No, he cannot. Balls in behind, but Vidic just dispossesses Schick very, very easily, showing off his physicals. Nice, good block there from Vidic. Shows good strength once more just to get the ball away as well. Chance. 
I mean, I was aiming for the winger, but that'll do. We kept possession. Well, that was weird. Just a casual 1-0 rage quit. I mean, we'll take it. I thought Vidic did well on debut. I'm fully aware it says zero tackles and 0% tackle success rate, but that's because he didn't have to commit a tackle. He used his strength to win the ball, so that was pleasing. Game number two, and this is I hate playing against that Koza. He's a nightmare. He really, really is an absolute nightmare. Nice block, Vidic. Love to see that. Block with a trailing foot. Nice, Ben White. Oh, we were, could have been in trouble there. I think he would have been offside, but we'll never know now because Vidic made an easy block. Well, you guys will know because you can watch it on replay, but right now live, I cannot. Oh, Vidic, no! Oh, thank you, Pep. Pe 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 what is going on? Nice, Vidic. Stopping the cross at its source. Oh, that was a penalty all day long. I feel like that was a penalty all day long. But we've got away with it. Okay, half time at the break. 2 0 up thanks to two goals from the Brazilian. Two nice finesses as well. Nice block there. None of that finesse nonsense, please. Falls into the box. Vidic deals with it. And there's full time in this one, nice 4-2 victory and Kaka with a pretty insane performance being involved in all the goals. I thought Vidic went well again, sadly no clean sheet for him but honestly neither of the goals were his fault at all. You can kind of tell who was at fault but um, anyway, uh, not bad, 1-1 -on -one situation is very very good and I really do like his strength in game. Okay, so game's done with Vidic. What did I make of this card? Straight up, like, a very solid centre-back. Like, no surprise, in them one-on-one -on -one duels, he's absolutely brilliant. Once he gets hold of a would-be attacker, he's more than likely going to dispossess them of the ball, either via a tackle or just through pure brutality because his physicals are absolutely insane. And you saw in the footage, like, although he did make tackles, like, the, the most effective way I had of getting the ball back with this guy was literally just pushing people off the ball, just using this guy's strength and aggression just to nab it off them without even push, pushing the tackle button, which obviously was, you know, quite nice. Um, but yeah, defensively, as expected, very, very solid. And positionally too, really, really nice. Never out of position for me. The only time he was out of line was when I pulled him out. And yeah, that's obviously very, very pleasing. Pace-wise, I used obviously a basic because I was just using a learn, so I didn't put a chem style on him. But honestly, didn't feel slow. If I was going into, you know, proper weekend champs, definitely would want a shadow or just anything pace boosting on him to give him that extra edge. But he didn't feel slow. But um, if I was to use him more often, definitely would want him to have, you know, a bit of a boost. And when it comes to passing, he was okay, just a bit inconsistent for my liking. Like I've said numerous times, there's many, many good centre-backs in this game that can pass now, and uh, Vidic sadly isn't on their level in regards to distribution. Can he ping a ball? Sure. Is he going to do it consistently? No, he's not, and that is obviously a bit of a shame. Finally dribbling, um, obviously not you know, a massive component for a, a defender, but it definitely helps. Um, it's not great to be fair, quite slow to turn and yeah, that's a bit of a shame but as I say, he's a centre back, it's not a massive thing but definitely would be better if he was a bit more mobile and that's probably the thing that he lacks versus the top tier centre backs in the game although he is a very very good centre back, he just doesn't quite have that same mobility as the other top tier centre backs in the game so I think that's what makes him obviously much cheaper than some of the other centre back options but um, as I say, in regards to defending and physicals, he's absolutely nuts and up there with the best in the game but just doesn't quite have that you know mobility that same ease of maneuverability as uh, other defenders so yeah not as easy to control but luckily does have good positioning to uh, kind of counteract that anyway is this guy worth doing um honestly i'm just gonna say no uh he's not badly priced i don't think i think his price is fine but i just don't think he's worth doing with the amount of center backs that we've got in the game that are just so so cheap like defenders this year just Ridiculous. Like the fact that Joe Gomez is so cheap, like this early into the game, and how cheap he was early into the game, like literally within a month, he's affordable for everyone, is mad. Whereas last year, that just wasn't the case. So, yeah, defenders are super cheap this year, and that's why I don't think this Vidic is, you know, great value. But I don't think it's terrible value either. And if you're a Man United fan or a fan of the player in general, wouldn't blame me for completing this SBC. But I just don't think it's one that's, you know, worth it for everyone. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. Anyway, let me know yours in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.